hate it. Today I have something for you that is truly special because there is only one of these pens in the world and I have it. And that's not a joke, I'm actually dead serious. There's only one of these because I had it commissioned and, and, and I, I have that one. So, you may remember, if you are a royal viewer, uh, my Conway Stewart, great exhibition, massive pen. And I love this pen. Um, I really, I really love it. Incredibly comfortable, beautiful. The silver overlay from Henry Simpole is wonderful. My philosophy is that if you own a pen, you should use it. And so I use it. But sometimes it makes me a little nervous. This is a, it's an expensive pen. There's no other way of putting it. And it's made by an artist who has sadly passed away. And I feel that it is my responsibility to now keep this pen in as good shape as I can so that that person's artistry survives. It may be overly emotional, but here we are. I think that's important and I genuinely feel that way. So my hesitation in using that pen is it's big and it's heavy because of all the silver. What if it rolls off a desk? What if it breaks? What if it like, it, you, you cannot just fix this pen, right? And you can definitely not replace it. Like there are only so many of these that were made. So what do you do? I contacted my dear friend, William Shakur of uh, Titan Pens. He 3D prints pens. I have reviewed some of his pens. Uh, a while ago, he made me a triangular pen, which I called the 720 because it's like an Omas 360. I asked him, can you make me something like that? And he said, yes. And he came up with that. I'll show you that pen in just a second when I tilt the camera down. And in this case, I said, hey, so here is my thoughts on the great exhibition. Could you make something like that that I can use on an everyday basis? And William said, yes. Now I know that I've kept you in suspension for a very long time. But he came up with this. And if I hold that up together with the great exhibition, you'll see that the two are pretty close. He did a very good job. So he 3D printed this pen. He had to do all kinds of things on a lathe, making things like adjusting things by hand. That's what I'll say. And that's what we get. So now we have an eyedropper, which holds, I, I, I kind of, I may have lost track at some point because it was eyedropper after eyedropper, but I've come down to about 14 milliliters. It's, it's a lot of ink. Um, this is probably three weeks of writing and it's gone down this much and then there is that much left. So there we are. Beautiful pen. I'm going to review it. This is the great exposition, right? And I would like to point out, just for legal reasons, no copyright is in, infringement is intended. We're, we're not going to be selling these, none of that. I just commissioned this from one person because I wanted this. End of story. It's, again, obviously there's no silver overlays, none of it. So anyway, I'm going to cover the parts of this pen. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. We'll do a writing sample, we'll do all that, but first of all, Massive, massive thanks to William for giving me this because I love this pen. I'm so happy that I can use it on an everyday basis. Conversation starter is the word because people who see this are all blown away by it because it's, it's somewhat Freudian in proportion and I just love it. So let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about the great exhibition and um, I contacted William and I said, <clears throat> would you be able to make something like a great ex exhibition? <clears throat> and he said, yeah. And he actually tried to get some measurements from pictures on my website. And he said, can you send me some more? So this extremely poor drawing, mind the nib, right? This is what I sent him. These are the measurements of the actual great exhibition by Conway Stewart and Henry Simple. And then what I got was the great exposition right there. And that is really, really pretty close. And if you are in doubt that this is a large pen, that is a Pilot Metropolitan. So yes, it is indeed a large pen. I'm just going to take the Corey Stewart out of the way. And if you're still in doubt, this is a Pilot Metropolitan and this is a great exhibition, sorry, great exposition 
cap. Okay, <clears throat> let's cover the parts of this pen. Let's admire the fact that out of this insanity, William was able to create exactly what I wanted. And now we have this. So, parts of the pen on top, the finial. Beautiful engraving of my Fox logo. Um, note the nib tail. Cap, huge, clearly a nice dark gray, smoky, translucent material because you can see the uh, nib through the cap. We have the barrel, it tapers down. It can be used as a level as well because it has a lot of ink in there uh, and clearly a nice air bubble. And then on the back, my logo once again. Notice the nice taper of the back end of the barrel, just like the great exhibition has. The cap unscrews. It is large. <laughs> I'm trying to hold this up. If you get very close, you can kind of see lines in it. It is again a 3D printed pen, but from a distance you can't see it, which I think is quite charming. There is no clip because the great exhibition doesn't have a clip. We do have this nice hourglass shaped section with a large nib. This is a Bach number no. 8 titanium nib, double broad, which they didn't used to do, but they now do do. And there it is. Okay, That's super interesting. Here we have the ebonite feed and here we have the pen <coughs> as held to write with it's big but it's quite fun someone's gonna ask can you post this well not really but even if you could ask yourself if you would because it's not exactly small is it um, super comfortable because it is a 3d printed material it's quite light right so it's it's really not top heavy or anything and it holds an enormous amount of ink which is put into it with an eyedropper and one advantage that this pen has over the great exhibition is that the great exhibition is eyedropper only but because this is a standard bach nib unit you can actually put in a converter should you want to if you say for whatever reason you know what 14 milliliters of ink it's a bit much <laughs> And then you can just put in a converter and have less than one milliliter and that's perfectly fine too does that look a little silly to me it does but you know to each their own i've had no leaks here i'm not going to open it up because that's an enormous amount of ink that i would invariably spill um, but closes up very nicely and uh, the nice thing about the translucent section i always think is that you can see kind of where the ink puddles and pools which i think is pretty neat um, this is really all I had to say about the pen because it's just so big. I'll make sure that for the website I take some pictures next to the great exhibition so that you can also see that, uh, see them side by side. What do we have here? We have here a Titan Pens Great Exposition this that was really fancy and it looks horrid i'm sorry the nib is double broad and the ink is sbre brown because why wouldn't it be when you think about it okay uh, and given that i just thought it was funny right think of if you have my ink right think of that akamon bottle that holds 60 milliliters of ink and this pen holds 14. so you can get less than six fills out of an entire Ackermann bottle. Food for thought. Okay. Writing. Wet. Juicy. Delicious. Smooth. Great double broad because it is not so broad that it's unusable, right? It's just a nice everyday writer. Um, fast writing. Well, I hope there's enough ink in this feed to keep up with fast writing. No issues. 
wetness. No issues. Beautiful and delicious. Line variation. Now, people treat titanium nibs as flex nibs, and I have done this in the past too, but I have also bent some out of shape. Titanium is flexy, it'll have some spring back, but it doesn't really give you warning when you are over flexing it. So I'll do this once, but I don't push it harder than that. I've stopped doing it. There's no point. I don't want to damage any nibs. And this is a really, really nice nib. I don't want to lift it off the feet. I don't want to bend it out of shape. I don't want to spring it. Why would I need line variation? Well, some people really care for it. Others don't. So this is about as far as I would take it. Um, and, and, and that's perfectly fine with me. What about reverse writing? I just love writing with this thing so much. It's so much fun. Okay. Well, that is actually possible. And there's a lot of tipping on there. It doesn't feel particularly scratchy. And then you go from a double broad, which, depending on what brand you're used to, might be a good broad, to, I would say, a nice fine. And you can do that too. Now, I'm a fine. I don't know why the weird accent is there, but it's there. Apparently, that's what it sounds like when it gets reversed. But now, I'm a double broad. So, um, we need to talk about likes and dislikes. But the first thing I will say is, well, I guess not the first thing because I've said a lot of things. The final thing I'll say before that is, will you mate? You've made me so happy. So let's talk about likes and dislikes. What do I like? What do I not like about the Titan Pen's great exposition? I like everything. I, li I like everything about it. That's why I had this commission and that's why, not, not that, not that's why, and William delivered. He ticked every single box that I wanted ticked and I was hoping he'd be able to tick, and he did. So this is for me, and maybe not for anyone else. Most people would not like a pen this big, because this is it's not even an emperor, it's, it's much bigger than that. Um, but here we are. So what do I like about it? Well, William was very kind to do an engraving of my logo, which I think is very neat, it's on both sides. The polishing is amazing. It's super smooth, and unless you get really close, you start to see lines, you wouldn't even realize this is 3D printed. It looks like it's just turned from acrylic, which I think is very neat. He, he poured that, that acrylic, by the way, or resin. I, I, never, I never know. I'm not a pen maker. The capacity is beyond ridiculous. I don't know of any other pen that, is, that holds this much ink. The great exp exhibition, the actual Conway Stewart pen, comes with a syringe and I'm pretty sure it holds about six milliliters, which is a lot of ink. If you consider a standard converter holds about 0.9 milliliters, then six milliliters is an awful lot. 14 milliliters is more than anyone needs, but you fill it up once and it writes. Does it burp, someone will say, right? Because with, with eyedroppers, uh, as they get emptier, uh, I've read different theories on this, but one of the my favorite ones is why you, the heat of your hand makes the air bubble inside expand that pushes out ink. I have had a couple of burpy incidents, but I found that in both cases the nib unit was unscrewed a tiny bit. And when I gently screwed that back in, the burping stopped entirely. So I think that's just the nib may become, uh, I don't know, unscrewed somehow because of magic. Uh, but maybe th there we are. Um, I cannot tell you what I don't like about it because I love every single thing about it. It's exactly what I wanted. The section is fantastic. It's superbly comfortable. The pen is huge, but it's, it's comfortable. I can't say anything else. The nib, double broad titanium, fantastic, smooth, wet, delicious to write with. I love it. What do I not like about it? <clears throat> 
that you can't run out and buy one because everybody should have this pen. But there's the deal. So, these are not for sale. This was a special project. Unless William tells me anything else. But there we are. So I'm sorry about that. I still thought it would be worth reviewing it because I want to show you something that's very special to me. And I hope that's okay. Even if you can't now go out and get one. I'm just really enthusiastic about it. So I, I wanted to share that enthusiasm. And that's the reality. William, my gratitude is enormous because just look at it. Um, it's bigger than the pen actually. I appreciate our friendship. I appreciate our conversations. I appreciate this wonderful work you've done for me. I appreciate all of your viewership. I hope this was at least a bit fun and engaging and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye!